and welcome to Sorcerer's Classes. In this video, I'll be talking about the course structure of the Physics General Degree. So in my last uh, few videos, I've talked in detail about the Physics Honors course structure and the different and the exam patterns that the students need to take. And um, basically today, I'm moving on to the Physics General course pattern and the kind of courses that you need to take and the exam patterns. Well, there, there are a few similarities, but there are also a few differences, a few key differences between the two courses. And uh, so basically, in this video, I'm going to be highlighting those differences. So, this is on the physics in general course. So as I said in my earlier videos that physics honors courses written by the code PHSA, but the general course will be given by, written by physics PHSG and there is actually also a number code for these so physics course is has a code of 111 which is PHS and the code 222 belongs to chemistry and the code 333 belongs to mathematics and these are the alphabetical code for each subject, physics is PHS, chemistry is CEM, mathematics is MTM. So now I'll move on to the different kind of course structures for each semester. Let's come to the first semester, semester one. Semester one, in physics general course, you have about three general courses. You have about three general courses, general core courses. Now mind you, these, um, this is not just a, general, uh, a core course on physics itself. You have to do a, a core course from each discipline. That's why I don't write this as PHSG, I write this as 111G. So, uh, but 111G, 111 belongs to physics, so this is a general course on physics. And as I said, it says 111GCC1. The other core course will be from chemistry, which will be 2 to 2 G C C 1. So for each of the subjects, we'll be doing a CC1 type core course. And finally, a core course from mathematics, which will be 3 3 3 G C C 1. Each of them will be carrying six, six credits. And finally, there will be an ability enhancement compulsory course, which is the same as the one that you saw in the, in the honors uh, semester structure and you'll be getting about two credits so your total number of credits your total number of credits will be about 20 and the total number of exams you need to appear for is four and with 100 marks each so the total marks will be appearing for about 400 and that that concludes your semester one that concludes semester one now let's move on to semester two Semester 2 is pretty similar. You'll have three core courses from each of the disciplines. So this will be 111G CC2, 222G CC2, and 333G CC2. So this is a core physics course from core physics course. This is a core chemistry course, and this will be a core mathematics course. Each of them will have about six credits, will have about six credits, and there will be an, an ability enhancing compulsory course, which will be AECC type 2, it will be two credits, two credits, and the total number of credits, again, will be 20, and total number of marks will be appearing for is 400, with four papers of 100 marks each. So that concludes our first two semesters. And let's move on to the third and fourth semester. Let's move on to semester three. Semester three will again have three core courses one from each discipline and will be termed as 11G CC3, 222G CC3, and 
3GCC3. And there will be our six credits each. And now, in this semester, like in the case of honors exam, you have a skill enhancement based course. But, but in this case, the skill enhancement based course will be from any discipline you like. So that's why there's nothing written here. You see there's nothing written here. Just three X's, which means the code can be anything. It can be any subject. And it will be carrying a total of two credits. A total credit. Total credit is about 20. And the total number of exam papers is again four. So that's 400, and that includes the semester 3. Let's come to semester 4, and semester 4, again, you have three core courses, general core courses. This will be CC4, this will be a CC4, and another general course from mathematics, will be again CC4. So CC4 and each six credits and one more skill enhancement based course which we'll call SEC type B it will be of two credits and the total number of credits will be again 20, total number of exam papers 4. So pretty much very similar to the all the other earlier semesters except now we have a skill enhancement based course added to it. <clears throat> but the total number of papers that you attempt and total number of credits that you need to do remains the same. And finally, we we'll come to our final two semesters. We we'll come to our final two semesters. So let's go to semester five. Semester five. Now here, something here we have something interesting. In semester 5, we have skill enhancement based course. Uh, so, this what this means, and I'll make it clear, because it, see, it might seem a bit redundant. SECA, not C. This seems a bit redundant. ACC, SECA, 2. Followed by DSE or discipline specific enhancement course, and that will involve a course from physics itself because this is a physics general degree that I'm talking about. It's DSC type A, which will have a, and you also have, you also actually have a DSC type from chemistry. You also have one from mathematics. I have one for mathematics. And the total number of credits. Total number of credits. Total number of credits will be about 20. And the total number of papers in the year 4 is again 4. Now what is what is going on here? So this will this will become clear. Um, so what, what 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 happens is basically it, it, uh, I said that it's the, it's a skill enhancement course which is which has a code of SECA, but I've already already covered it in an earlier semester. So what is going on here? So basically, there are two choices, two course choices that that uh, we basically have and you have to basically take one of the courses in the early semester and the other course in the following semester so i'll be speaking in a bit more about that after i cover all this cover all the six semesters i'll be speaking in detail about it so finally semester six and we have once again another SEC course but this time from type B has a credit of 
Okay, two credits and then three courses, three discipline-specific enhancement courses, and this will be, this will not be A, this will be B, 222 G DSCB, 333 G DSCB, and that total is the credit of 20 and the total number of exam papers is 4, 100 marks each. That concludes our, all of our six semesters of the physics general exam and now you see that I wrote specific enhancement skill A uh, once in semester 3 and once in uh, 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 semester 5 whereas I wrote SEC B once in semester 4 and now once in semester 6. So, what happens here is that the SEC courses, there are two courses and you can choose any one of them in any one of the semesters to go, semesters to actually enroll for. And what happens is that if you enroll for one of the courses in one of the semesters, you take up another, another, another choice, another of the remaining, cho remaining course in an alternate semester. So, which I, by alternate I mean that you can only take up, if you see that SEC type A appeared only in semester 3 and semester 5, whereas SEC type B appeared in semester 4 and semester 6, so SEC can be taken up, can be taken up in only odd semesters, only odd sems. And the only odd sems available to you are 3rd and 5th, 3rd Thir and 5th, because you don't have you don't have first availability because you'll have to be doing the ability enhancement courses in the first semester. Whereas in the case of SECB, SECB, it's only even semesters. It's only even semesters, so that means you only have fourth and sixth semesters available for it. You don't have the semester two available for it because you'll be doing an ability enhancement course in your second semester. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion and I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.